Hey guys, it's me Tyler. I've been back with another video. And today we're going to be unboxing these three Roblox characters that I got from Target. And I know, it's been a little while since I've uploaded on this channel because I have been going through school and there's been a lot of effort. So, we have the Greenville Car Dealer Worker. We have the Battleship Battles, the Enzyme. I think that's how you pronounce it. And the Tower Heroes Demolitionist. So we're going to open the Tower Heroes Demolitionist first. So I have my pair of scissors right here. Just going to cut it open from the top. These boxes, they're really tall. Make sure that you're always under adult supervision right now. I know I'm not under adult supervision, but it's fine. So when you open the box, at first glance, you see this. This is what you get. So the packaging comes with four bags, a tips and trick card, if you see right here, and the Tower Heroes Demolitionist. So I'm gonna get them out right here. Yeah. So first let's read the tip and tricks. Demolitionist is the boss of the cooperative chaos, corporate chaos. Defeat him before he destroys the Lemon Corporation building. Each map has unique bosses and enemies. You can also defeat certain amounts of enemies to unlock them as a follower. Support towers may not give much immediate damage, but they make up for it by strengthening your towers and weakening your foes. So that was the trick card. And if you haven't already got a closer look, this is the demolitionist. His arms move in every direction, and so does his head, or hat. But his head certainly does not move. Same thing for his legs. So, now we're going to open the smallest pack of the three, which we might need scissors for. Sorry if the video is cutting off. These boxes are tough. <coughs> Alright, so in this box, we get a cool looking dynamite sack pouch. So, we can just place it right over here on his back accessory. It takes a lot of pressure to put in. Let's see if we can get it in this time. So there we go. He put his backpack on, and he looks like he's carrying some dynamite. So we'll just leave him standing here, or sitting down, probably. So next, we'll open this box. I didn't know that there was a little thing on the end. So this is the exclusive virtual item. We get the Demolitionist hard hat. And we also get a checklist for the season three figures right here. If you want to see that, then I can just show you that later. So next, we have box number three or bag number three. And we get lots of more dynamite right here. So I'm assuming that this piece of dynamite is to put in his hand. So we can just go like this. Get it in there. So now he's carrying some dynamite. And I think this is a hat piece. Yeah. No wait, this is a head piece. How are we supposed to take the head off? Well, I don't know how to do it yet, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. So right now, we can just use this as a little accessory and keep him standing right over here. And now, the final bag. Open it. We get a leg and an outspray. I wonder what this could mean. We'll never know. Mm -hmm. And let me unfold the checkbox checklist before we get into the next figure. So I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but these are all of the core packs and all the characters you can get in the season 12 and, or season 3 celebrity edition or season 3 of the deluxe mystery boxes. 
So, now that we have our little guy right here, he's all finished up, we can just set him on the side. We also have the out spray, I'm not sure if you saw it. Probably says toe, but we also got a leg. I'm not sure what this is. But we'll just leave it right over here on the side of the table. And I'll just put this debris away. Put his carver next to it. With his coat. You cannot forget the coat. So next, we're gonna be opening the battleship battle the enzyme. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's what I think. So this cake was easy to take off since it was peeled a little. And immediately, out of the blue, we get a trick card. Tips and tricks card. So this is what it looks like on the front. And the tips and tricks says, smaller guns fire faster, but do less damage. Bigger guns do more damage, but have longer reload times. Destroying parts of the enemy ship is key to getting points to buy new items. Maximize your artillery by positioning your ship for a broadside attack. So, I'm just gonna pop this guy out. I get my the other person, which is easier to pop out because this guy is like, you know, squarish kind of. So let's open the first bag that it came in. Okay, that'll be this bag. Yeah, I think scissors are most life likely necessary to open these because they're made out of a material, I don't know its name, but it's super strong. So we got a life vest right here, and we got a life ring that we can put on him. So I'm assuming how you put the life ring on, you have to detach his body. Just gonna take some time, so I'm not sure if I can show it to you guys yet. But those are the accessories that we have right here, so I'm just gonna leave them on the table. And we have our second box. Or back. Why do I keep saying box? Okay, so this second bag is really cool because it comes with an RPG, a rocket propelled uh, PG, grenade launcher or whatever, but it's a rocket launcher. You get what I mean. So you can just flip his hand up and then you can throw it in his hands and then it looks like he's about to explode someone, which is cool. So I think we should sit this guy down because are a lot hard, they're really hard to stand up. So, that was the second bag for you. And now, we have the third bag. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the scissors for this one. So this one is interesting. So it comes with these two weird looking metallic parts. Maybe we can like connect these things together to make something. We'll have to do it right now. Sorry if this is disrupting your toy reviews, but <clears throat> you gotta see what this makes. So it looks like some sort of arm turret or maybe like an arm in general. But this can be used as like a turret gun, like this. It's really cool. So we'll just leave it besides this other part. And then we have bag number three. I'm pretty sure that bag number three just contains a checklist. But we already showed that to you guys, so you don't need to see it. But if you haven't seen it, you can go back into <coughs> the oh, hold on. scissors. Sorry for the inconvenience. But this bag has a checklist. If you didn't already see it, you can go back to the de demolitionist's part where I open him because that's when you see it. 
So the exclusive virtual item is a jetpack. This is how it looks. So a little disclaimer, the letters might look backwards because of the camera, but I'm still telling you what it is, so it's probably fine. So we have all the bags here. Yeah, there's a lot of bags here. I'm gonna have to throw this out later. So our second character is complete, along with its code. Where did I put the code? Oh no. Well, oh, right here. Moving on. Let's just move these guys to the side. Because now, we've got the Greenville car dealer worker. And we're gonna be opening them right now. They always have this tape on. Couldn't they just like flip it or something? That was easy to cut. That's the final box. So we're gonna pop out the character. So you guys can get a closer look. The bag is falling out. Here's the Greenville worker, right here. He's from the Roblox team Greenville, of course. And he's wearing a little red sun visor with two headphones. And you can actually buy these headphones from the catalog or the item shop. He has a blue t-shirt and some black pants and white shoes. So hopefully you guys can see him right over here. So this is the first bag. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah. These bags are very hard to open. Let me grab it. Whoa! What is this? Is this like the torso to whatever weird thing we found? Let's see if we can connect it. Oh. All right, so it's connected. So it looks like we have a torso and an arm. And this arm, it can move around. That's really cool. But we're gonna have to push it in more if we want it to successfully hinge around. I'll do that later after the video. But we have it right here. It looks really cool. I'm just gonna leave it along with the spider stuff. Right over here. Bags go over here. And we're moving on to the second bag. So the second bag has a small can or maybe glass of chocolate milk with the straw. So you can just get him to hold this by putting it in his hands. And then he's gonna drink, drink some chocolate milk, guys. Oh, well, it doesn't really reach his mouth. But you get what he means. So we're just gonna sit him down just like that military guy. And, oh, his torso rotates. That's cool. Just noticed. And I also forgot to mention, it also comes with this little piece right here. I'm not sure what this thing is, but you can also put this thing in his hands. And I'd say it looks like his car keys. Or maybe a wrench. Well, a wrench wouldn't look like this. But you get the idea. It doesn't look too, you know... I understand what this looks like. But let's just see what this box has to offer. So I feel something very three-dimensional, like a square. Very cubey like vibes. Ooh, this is interesting. So we get a printer right here and we get some paperwork. He's probably been working hard. So we can just stand him up right here. Oh yeah, the car keys are for the cars because he works at the car shop. So we can just put the papers right here. 
and then he has his chalky milk. And finally, the last bag. Let's see what we get. Alright, just another checklist for the same characters. And we get an exclusive virtual item, a milk carton shoulder pad, right over here. He waves at you. He's waving at our viewers. So that was all I had to review today. I hope you guys liked this video and the unboxing process. I'm sorry about the giant mess on the table, but it's the best I can do. So thanks for watching and I hope you have a good day. Also, before I go, don't forget to subscribe. I tell you this at the end of the video because I want you to know if I'm a good YouTuber or not. And I want to know if you like my experience of doing what I want to do. But I'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye bye.